Hello and welcome to episode 177 of our SAP on Azure video podcast. Today is January 31st and together with Robin and Goran, we're here to talk about anything related to SAP and Microsoft. Hello, everyone. Hi, Hi guys. So I'm not sure about the exact year, but let's say 15, 20 years ago, I was working at SAP and I got introduced probably via email to Robert. Robert was working, I think at that time, at the value prototyping team. I was very much engaged already at the time in Microsoft integration products. Um, I was part of the regional implementation group. In, and yeah. in this context, I was looking at integrating a search scenario across SAP and the Microsoft stack. Well, I, I got introduced to Robert and I immediately saw his passion, his dedication and his willingness mm -hmm. to help. So it was super cool to work with him back at that time already. Then around seven years ago, I joined Microsoft and obviously still at SAP at that time, I was going around saying goodbye to a lot of friends. <laughs> and I also reached out to Robert. I told him that I'm going to Microsoft and it was super cool to hear from him that apparently he had made the very same decision. Uh, he would also different. join Microsoft mm -hmm. just one month later or so than I. Mm -hmm. Well, today, as you might have guessed from the title, and also looking at Robert's um, team's names here, we do have some interesting news. news. <laughs> uh, Robert is actually going back to SAP. So after having worked with him quite closely, especially in the beginning on SAP, on Microsoft infrastructure topics, but also a lot of integration topics and, and having Robert always as a, as a partner to pitch ideas and, and stuff. Yeah, he's now going back to SAP. Um, luckily, we will still have the opportunity to work with him. And since we are an SAP and Microsoft podcast, he will continue to host this show with us. So in today's episode, we are basically looking back with Robert at seven years at Microsoft. So yeah, Robert, yeah. Uh, that was quite a shock or, or a, yeah. well, a surprise, <laughs> but um, yeah. So, so basically today is your, we're, we're recording this on the 31st, as mentioned, today's your mm -hmm. very last day at Microsoft. Exactly. Yeah. And tomorrow you'll start at SAP already. You already have a, a title external, which means I don't have any more Microsoft equipment. So I'm now actually going over my private computer. So I return everything today. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I remember that we we met in Canteen, I think VDF3 in Waldorf. Oh, yes. And it was really funny. You, you're walking, we have some news, you know, I'm leaving, I'm joining Microsoft. And I told you, yes, me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny coincidence, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's interesting, you know, as you mentioned, uh, Goran knows that also we know each other from, from our uh, childhood, yeah, much longer. And uh, he, he always uh, make a joke that, uh, that in my uh, bloodstream is always Microsoft technology, yeah. So I was born with Microsoft technology almost and, and I grew up. And then, of course, my passion was the, to do, to join Microsoft, and I did that. Yeah? Uh, as, as you he has, as we, just, just to interrupt, he has a Bill Gates picture in his wallet. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Close to your picture. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, you know, uh, actually, the plan was, you know, I, I think we discussed about it. The plan was the, to to join the Microsoft and do a little bit SAP and much more this uh, integration. But at the end, as you know, when we start together in, uh, and and the Microsoft that time, was everything new. We didn't have PowerPoints uh, already. We prepared something with colleagues from Redmond and to our first uh, boot camps, airlifts, or whatever. And I remember, you know, it's funny that in that time, in first year, we deliver uh, boot camps every month, yeah, and it was always yes. or, overbooked. Yeah? And you know, I remember, for example, the record was that in January, I think, 2018, in one month, I have a short, of course, short, 14 workshops. Yeah, <laughs> that was the crazy time. Uh, 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 a lot of traveling and but it was so fun yeah? mm -hmm. because we also learned a lot everything was new we didn't have such a such a huge you know portfolio of machines like we have today uh i think, I think the, started uh, with the g series right that yeah, was still yeah. there <laughs> with, with <laughs> half a terabyte of memory yeah, exactly. or like yeah. that and that was the yeah. biggest virtual machine yeah and i and, I, and I, it still is you know I, my uh, uh, favorite topic is uh, about mentality, and uh, that was the challenge. You know, you, you remember our boot camps, uh, and also we discussed that a bit a million times. You know, he was somehow from technical perspective, you always need to convince me, yes, yes, but customers don't think in that way, you know. 
and uh, was fun because uh, convincing partners and customer to to really uh, to understand the value of the cloud, to understand the journey of the cloud was fun. Fun. I mean, if you take a look at uh, our videos with Jurgen Thomas, it's actually the same from technology perspective. Yeah. Speed is amazing. It's it's really crazy. Huh? And be in sync with that speed together with our customer. This is really a challenge. Everything what we are doing today is new. Nobody did that. You know, it's, it's simply everything new and was unlimited fun, let's say like that. Yeah. And I mean, now I, uh, I have opportunity to go back to, to old nests, as I mentioned <laughs> on LinkedIn. And I think it's fun because now I'm going direction to, you know, help a, a help customer from SAP perspective to really go on a cloud journey together with SAP because there's, there's challenges, you know, everywhere. Uh, not because of SAP or, or Azure or whatever. It's simply business is very complex. Customer is pushing us all together to, to go into new dimensions. AI is going crazy. Yeah? And I think it's just the beginning, so to say. Yeah? So it's just interesting journey in front of us. Yeah? Absolutely. And, and I, yeah. I think you're right. Um, the, the customers are pushing both SAP and Microsoft in a very good direction. Um, they're demanding a lot of things, not only from a from a virtual machine size. Um, uh, yeah, I, I mean, we had all these um, episodes already where we talked uh -huh. about 24 terabyte memory, even more mm -hmm. and, and, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But as you said, also a lot of um, integration topics. And um, yep. from, from my understanding, you, you're now switching into a role at SAP where you are working with some of these very demanding yep. customers. Yep. So so I think it, it's it's great that you know now very well both worlds. Um, mm. you, you, you know the ins and outs on the Microsoft side. You mm. um, know the ins and outs of the SAP side. So I think this this will definitely give you a great opportunity to to help us all um, get even better um, when it comes to SAP and Microsoft. And this is the reason why I'm going back because you know I'm a little bit crazy. If it's too too too, if it's not shaky, it's not fun for me. And so it <laughs> need to be a little bit crazy to 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 push my limits to. And I think it's it's challenge. It's big challenge. Yeah. And I like to to discover new stuff, and I like to help uh, to improve existing stuff. And I think there's a term. I, mean, I think probably we will. If you go 10 plus year, probably we'll discuss more or less same stuff because there's some challenges which are not so easy to change. It's simply technology is going very fast, but you cannot simply stop everything and just say, hey, I, I would like to have new stuff. It's not working so like that. And this is especially when we are talking about business challenges, business software. It's hard. It's not so easy. Yeah? And uh, and I like it's that. It's actually <laughs> transition. Yeah. So you you yeah. need to operate the through the way how it's currently operated because the show must go on. Yeah. On the other hand, you need to do a transition to the new stuff, a new way how to handle the stuff, you know, so it's uh, on the I, flight. Yeah. I mean, if, if you remember also, you know, uh, when we start our video, uh, video series and also when we start our boot camp, so when we start discussing, uh, you know, Goran and I, uh, yeah, endless uh, uh, walk in, in the forest close to Waldorf, yeah, and this guy and uh, discussing about how to save the planet, yeah. I mean, it's it's challenge to 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 really find the right journey, you know. And when we introduce, not just we, also AWS and Google introduce a, a cloud adoption framework, I think it's 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 somehow you know like like a description how to do this journey properly from information we know today you know it's nobody said this is the unlimited truth there huh? and i think this this is uh, what we need to all, always keep in head because this is a journey this is not something we will somehow have a like final destination and i, I, I think christian klein also mentioned something like that 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 actually uh, sap is going a little bit step forward and try to recognize themselves in, in the new world, you know, enabling AI, not just from, from funny way of, of changing pictures, but enable much, much deeper in the business. Yeah, yeah, the, and the this business is, this is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I think this is a, this is an interesting journey in front of us because, you know, this is new. This is not something which we can reflect and say, yeah, I will just copy what Goran did. No, nobody, you know, nobody knows. We just need to discover for ourselves what is the right way to do 
to solve that. So, so basically the same thing that we did seven years ago, yeah, where, exactly. where we started exactly. to see exactly. how, how can we run an SAP system on exactly. Azure? How do we do high availability on Azure? Do we need it in these areas? What are the components? What new storages do we need? Um, obviously, well, <laughs> some of the, the core topics from Goran, how can we take them and, yeah, yeah. and make an SAP system run um, best yeah. on Azure? Um, and then also, yeah, up the stack. And and yeah. um, I think also, also for you, I mean, at Microsoft, you were working a lot with partners. I think that, that was one of your, your key focus yeah. areas. Um, um, and, and I think you, you also, I mean, first of all, you educated a lot of partners. I don't know mm -hmm. how many, but, but I think it was really hundreds uh, that, mm -hmm. that, you, that you were engaged. Um, now, I think when you when you switch back to SAP, um, you well, you will work with us as a partner, um, no, no. but, but um, mainly, I guess, with with, um, with some customers. So I think this will also be yeah. an interesting uh, journey and transition and, and take the lessons learned from the partners. I mean, okay. I, as I said, I, you, you not only educate the partners, but I, I'm sure you also learned a lot from these partners. No, so I think that will also be an interesting um, journey going forward. Yeah, I, I hope so. No, I, I, I think this, this is right, right way of thinking what you mentioned because, you know, the, the part is just somehow kind of execution for customers. I bet mm -hmm. also customer have a huge responsibility, not just to say, okay, hey, dear partner or dear Microsoft or dear SAP, just do that. They also need to to understand the journey. They also need to adopt their business to the, to that journey. Yeah? And it's complex. Yeah, it's not just okay which uh, SAP systems are going to which Azure region. Yeah, it's it's much more complex than that. And also there are the challenges in classical operation management. You know, we have good tools. We are building good tools, mm -hmm. but still, this is like like five percent of what we really need today. You know, it's it's this dynamic way. Like you know, if you're in, in development you know dynamic way of thinking you know taking their abstraction is nice but developing that, that direction is very very complex yeah? and i think also this is the same story here we need to think a little bit further yeah? it's like a journey mentality but still be ready to to, to adopt what we have today and also develop that for for the future steps and it's challenge it's and it's plus on top of that is everything's going so fast yeah and I, I think I hope this this is fun. Yeah, it sounds like fun. You know, the, my uh, my future, uh, uh, my manager in SAP, my future from to, tomorrow. Tomorrow, <laughs> from tomorrow, he asked me why. I say, sounds like fun. I told him. Yeah. So <laughs> I I think this this is a this is where my passion is. You know, it's it's I like to solve these uh, complex problems. Yeah, I like to help people to to somehow discover discover new stuff, and also I like to. to learn a lot this is and i think with, when you're working with customer and i will work with, with big projects and big customers chance or opportunity to learn there is whew, like huge. you know yeah huge man. Well, and you see, work yeah. closely together and now you know when i contact microsoft and goran and i went <laughs> told him hey goran you must do that he must listen to me and he must because the customer now. and this is one of the most reason why i joined us <laughs> so he, he likes to read the science fiction yeah. fairy tales you know so no, 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 now he gets to tell you what to do goran yeah. exactly <laughs> only in the fairy tales <laughs> no uh, yeah, but... fun fun yeah, I mean, looking looking to the future, I think um, one thing is, is is super. Well, I'm really super happy. Is um, when when you told us the first time that that you are now leaving SAP. Um, obviously, one one concern of mine was how how are we continuing with the podcast? Yeah, and yeah. Um, I think uh, for me, it was great to hear that um, you can continue mm -hmm. to be part mm -hmm. of the um, the, the podcast. Um, and I actually think this makes the podcast even better. Um, I mean, we also looking at the past, we had a lot of SAP colleagues already joining us. Mm -hmm. um, so so um, I, th I think most recently we had um, Matthias Klein again mm -hmm. um, from, from SAP uh, talking about the, the um, move to DMO, mm -hmm. the DMO to, uh, to Azure um, yeah. functionality. We, we had some other colleagues already joining there in the past. So, so, so I think we, we already have this, this collaboration. Um, but now mm -hmm. with you, being part of SAP, I mean, not only do we always have someone from SAP in the calls, but potentially mm -hmm. also with your network, then yeah, um, yeah. you can also bring in other colleagues um, 
that that are working in this area. Maybe you can identify a few topics that mm -hmm. maybe we at the moment would have missed from the outside, but, 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 but where you say, oh, I, I saw this, this cool thing, mm -hmm. this colleague mm -hmm. did something. I mean, obviously in the context always of SAP and Microsoft, yeah. but, but maybe you find some colleagues, you can also bring them in. So I'm, I'm actually looking forward very in, in a very optimistic way that um, this this will actually be good for the podcast to to really yeah. get um, no, new colleagues. I agree because you know we'll, I mean we'll still discuss about technicality around SAP and Azure yeah because this is the main topic about Postcard. Of course, SAP is also multi-cloud fashion, yeah, so there's also other cloud vendors. But this podcast is about Azure and uh, how to do that in the best way of SAP on top of Azure. And we'll continue with that. And also, I, I hope that I'll bring some interesting also um, feedbacks from 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 mm -hmm. customer perspective, from our from SAP, our our future, our Roberts, our uh, perspectives. And I, I think this will be fun. It's much more uh, probably we'll have an opportunity. Maybe also, I hope also invite some some customer maybe on the call and ask them to 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 um, together with us discuss about their experience, their journeys, their pros and cons and everything else. Yeah, yeah I, I think and some SAP folks yeah. as well more. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, well. of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, should be. Mm -hmm. I think that's yeah. a good news for all of three of us, especially Holger and me. Yeah, so I mean, it, somehow we, uh, I still believe we will get enriched by this in some way, by, by the yeah. content and, yeah. Well, yeah. and, and yeah. insights. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, maybe maybe for for our for our audience. I mean, of course, this is a private channel, and yeah? so we, we can let's say do whatever we want. But we are employees for different companies, so we need to be somehow be careful about that we are not somehow shaking too much water, yeah, and uh, not from from any kind of of uh, provocation perspective. We just need to be careful that that everything what we are somehow discussing is benefit for both cost co companies and also to benefit to our customers and to to partners and. To all, all guys who are watching us. Yeah, yeah but, but but honestly, I mean, even without you leaving to uh, going over to SAP, I think that was always the 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 theme of our podcast that we never wanted oh, to sure. uh, say bad things about both SAP and Microsoft. I, I think for, um, for me, for me, it's very simple. You know, if people uh, understand that I'm living uh, in, uh, in Baldorf, so I'm just changing the, the <laughs> buildings actually, yeah, going from one building to another building. <laughs> You have to be careful anyway. No, I think all three of us, we, we, we truly believe that there is a huge value add in combining SAP and Microsoft. And I, I hope so. that in the last, what, 177 episodes, we, yep. we showed that. And, and that's yep. why I have no concerns whatsoever that, that you are now officially part of SAP. We will just exactly. continue to do our stuff and we will continue yep. to um, talk about the good and Potentially some 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 bad things as well, obviously, nice. um, on the SAP and Microsoft integration side. But I, I really think that with you now um, being on the other side, we will get some new perspectives in this yep. whole thing. So so I yep. I'm actually really really happy about this. I always remember uh, one guy from Jurgen Thomas team who is Microsoft employee sitting at Waldorf. <laughs> he told me once. I always remember. Sometimes. I'm not sure. Am I working for Microsoft or for <laughs> SAP? <laughs> yeah. 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 So in this case, we know for yeah. sure. Goran and I, we are both working for Microsoft. Um, yes. SAP, yes. Um, yeah. Robert, yeah. tomorrow, starting tomorrow, you yeah. will work for SAP. Yeah. Great. Super. Super. Good. So, yeah. Uh, well, I wish you all the best, Robert. Uh, again, yeah. the, the good thing you, is we you. will stay in contact. Uh, we, we will have at least weekly touch points. Yep. So I'm definitely looking forward to our um, joint engagements and yep. uh, yeah, looking forward this to This is the like, like, like a Netflix season two, you know, season three. Season, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we will have better, you know. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Right. okay. Okay, guys. Super. Thank you so yeah, much. Super. Have Welcome. a good start tomorrow. Yeah, thank okay. you.